But if we inspect, this actually inspects, which is nice, and that works. Hey there, I'm your host, Lesoli, and this is part 15 of our inventory series. In today's video, we'll be continuing with our inspect mechanic. So with that said, let's begin. Let's start by setting up the controls for our inspect actor. So for that, let's go into the content drawer, inventory system folder, inspect, and the inspect actor. On the event graph, let's create a new variable called should rotate. And we'll do right click and left mouse button. So whenever this is pressed, we'll set should rotate to be true. And whenever it's released, we'll set it to be false. Next, let's go ahead and set up a reset for our actor. So for that, we'll do a middle mouse button. And we want to go into the viewport first and get the target arm length. So let's do something like 140 by default. Back in here, let's get this and do set target arm length be 140. And then we'll grab our inspect mesh and do a set relative location and rotation. And this will leave at zero, zero. Next, let's go ahead and set up the controls for zooming in and zooming out. So for that, I'll do a mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. And we want to grab the spring arm, get its arm length. We'll add to this an amount. And we want to clamp it between certain values. So minimum, for example, I'll set it to be 100 and maximum 200. And like that, we'll grab the spring arm again. And this time we want to set the target arm length to whatever this value turns out to be. And then we want to give this a value, of course. So let's increment this in 20s. And on mouse wheel up, we want to do the opposite of this. So we'll just subtract. So plus and minus. Minus 20 as well. Next, let's go ahead and set up the controls for the rotation on the horizontal and vertical axis. So what we'll do is we'll do a mouse X and mouse Y events, mouse event Y. And I want to grab should rotate. And we'll do a branch. So be a left mouse to get the branch. And we want the inspect mesh and do get world rotation. And we'll do combine rotators, split the B value, get your axis value, um, multiply this by minus four. So this is the speed. Plug this into your Z and then grab the inspect mesh again and do a set world rotation to whatever this value is. And this is untrue. So for Y, we'll do almost the same. You can copy that. And here, oops, I want to grab the axis value multiplied by minus four as well, but this time we go into B. So to move the pin, hold control and a left mouse. Next, we'll set up two controls to end the inspection. So let's do right mouse button. And we'll do end inspect, calling our function on pressed. And let's also do the IA underscore inventory. So whenever we close the inventory, it will also end the inspection. And this would be on started. And let's compile and save. Next, let's go into our inventory system into our UI folder and let's open up the item action widget. And on the event graph, we want to add a new variable called index, make this a integer. And with that, we'll add a new event dispatcher called on action clicked. And 
it will return a parameter, which is an integer, and we'll call it index. And let's get the button item action, and we'll do unclicked. Whenever this happens, we'll grab our unaction clicked. So let's do a call. The index will be our index here. So let's get that. We want to then, well, I want to do a print string just to see what's happening. And we'll put this in there and that will convert it for us. One last thing we want to do is let's click on the index and make it instance editable. And let's compile and save. Next, let's go ahead and open up the item tool widget. So this one here, let's go ahead and click on our buttons. And this now will have an index option. So this will be index zero, index one, we can make that index two, three, and four. Let's compile and save. Next, let's go to the event graph. And inside here, well, let's make a new function called get action buttons. So for this, I want to grab all of my buttons. So button use, get that button, move to hotbar, drop, split, and inspect. Select all, right click, we can align left and move these up a little bit. And let's do make array. And let's add a few pins, connect this then, and out of this, for each loop, oops, we want to bind to on action clicked. And from here, what I'll do is we'll make a create event. Inside here, then let's create a matching function. And let's click on this. And let's press F2 to rename and we'll do on action clicked. Next, we'll go ahead and make something called a macro. So this guy here, let's create a new macro and we'll call this get action index. In here on the inputs, we'll create a new input. We'll make this to be a integer. So we have that and let's call it an index. And what I'll do is I'll get a branch. Oh, yeah, we also want a execution pin in here. So plug that in. And we can move it on top. And the idea is that we'll check if this is equal to zero. We'll check if this is equal to one, two, three, and four. Just like so. Plug that in. And we can just set this manually in here then. So one, two, three four and just get a branch going false and then in here we can have some outputs so let's create some execution pins we'll call this um use so true is use our first button then true we'll have something else not a true like so, and let's click on that then. So second will be move to hot bar. Drop. Split and inspect. And for good measure, I'll do a print string. Nothing ever happens. We'll do invalid action. Okay, let's compile and save. Back inside on action clicked, let's get the action index connected and then inspect. We want to create a new function, so let's go to functions and do on inspect. And we'll do spawn actor from class. The class will be our inspect actor. Let's split the transform. And Z on location will set to 1 million. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Hit enter. Then our inventory and our index, let's promote to a variable, call it inventory. It's fine. Make it instance editable and expose on spawn. 
Let's do the same with our index, promote to variable, index, and instance editable, and expose and spawn. And let's at the very end do begin inspect. And let's compile and save. Next, on event construct, we want to update this. So let's grab our get action buttons. So we actually create this bind. Let's compile and save that. And let's open up the content drawer and go to the inventory slot widget. So this guy here. And we want to update our display item tool function. So let's open this up. And in here, then we want to add in the inventory and the index. And if you don't see this, simply refresh that. So components inventory goes here and the index will go in here. Let's compile and save. So now let's close everything down and let's hope this works. So hit play and let's pick something up and we'll right click, go to inspect. And we get four printed, cool, but we're not inspecting anything. So let's see why that is. So the reason it's not working is because I never actually plugged in the uninspect function we made to inspect itself. So for that, let's go into the item tool widget and let's plug that in, compile and save. So when we hit play now, these items should be able to be inspected. I also see that the text is being blocked by the hotbar, so we can fix that later. When we right click then, they inspect and that's nice. We could also set up something later where they actually spawn in in proper positions. So like the bow wouldn't spawn this way, but this way, if we set it, this would spawn this way and so on. So this is it for the video. In the next episode, we'll create the move to hotbar function. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like. And as always, happy developing.